Schoolwork, studying, and tests come easily to some students, but are very difficult for others. Do any of these problems sound familiar? Do you have difficulty understanding or remembering what you read? Do you read more slowly than other students? Do you have difficulty understanding math word problems? Do you have trouble remembering basic math facts, formulas, and the order of operations? Do you have difficulty creating or organizing ideas in an essay? Do you avoid using certain words because you can't spell them? The most difficult I had in my life was writing because my mind and my hand don't work together. My mind will go way too fast and my hand just couldn't keep up. And when I would read, it would make sense to me, but when the teacher would read it, she'd be like, you're missing words. Do you have trouble listening to a lecture and taking notes at the same time? Do you remember lecture information one day, but forget it the next? Do you run out of time on tests? Does your mind go blank, even though you've studied hard for the test and feel prepared? Do you have trouble figuring out what and how to study? Do you have trouble organizing your schoolwork or your life? Are any of these difficulties keeping you from passing classes or getting the job you want? These problems may mean that you have a learning disability. They're not uncommon. Learning disabilities affect somewhere between 3 and 15 percent of the population. There's a program here at Cabrillo that can help make you a better, more successful student. I wanted to transition back into school and I was afraid that I wouldn't be able to to do it, to take the tests and to um, sit in a class structure. I came in for learning disability testing because um, I had originally, when I was much younger, in like middle school and and uh, and I guess mostly middle school, been told that I you know I had been diagnosed with ADD and so on and so forth. And at the time, it was really it was so tough as a middle school student because I was I was frustrated. I wanted to be normal. If you have a learning disability and you're a student at Cabrillo College, the first thing that you want to do is come to the Learning Skills Program Office in room 1073 or give us a call at 479-6220. We'll set up an appointment for you to be tested or if you have been tested, you want to get your records to us and then we'll see what we can do to give you services. Students who are slow to read or to take longer to process and understand what the questions being asked, having more time on tests can be really helpful. Also, the pressure of the testing situation is eliminated because we have a test proctoring center where you can take your time to get your tests. And it's not in the classroom where when other students walk out because they're done, you realize, oh my gosh, I haven't finished the test yet. One of the things that I would have is also like test anxiety where I would see people like get up before me and I was like, oh no, no, no. And that distracted me even more because I would just see people get up. So this way, I'm in a quiet room. I don't have to see that because most of the time it's just me in there and not a lot of people. So that's one of the advantages of taking tests in quiet rooms. A note taker is another student in the class and you get a copy of his or her notes. It doesn't mean you don't take notes, but it allows you to listen and really try to comprehend what the instructor is saying. And this is really helpful for students who have trouble paying attention or students who are poor spellers. Because if you're a poor speller, you can be trying to spell a difficult word and the instructor has said 20 other things and you've lost them because you can't spell the word correctly. This way you get a copy of another student's notes and then you have the notes when you need to study. Another great advantage of the learning skills program is that there's note takers, so you can request a note taker and then the note taker will take all your notes for you during the lectures and then you get free copies of his notes or her notes. So that way you don't you can stay focused in class and not have to worry about looking down on the paper and then trying to understand what the teacher just tried to say and then, yeah, so it's it's a big advantage. We have a learning skills lab and in that lab we have an assistant who is there to help you with your homework. It's a place where you can come and get your homework done and get help with your homework. Um, 
it's so it's um, tutorial in nature but we also have a lot of programs available on our computers that can be very helpful to students I learned a lot in the learning skill lab they taught me a lot about how to find oddities and math problems that would be on the test they definitely were kind and friendly to me they didn't make me feel like an outcast um, they had tons of computers there that I could use to my advantage. It's a great program that um, reads your books to you, so what you see on your book is scanned into the computer and it reads exactly word per word what you see on your book is now scanned into the computer. You can control the speed. Um, you can also look up words that you're not familiar with. There's also study skills involved with it. So if you're a slow reader or have problems with reading comprehension or problems with concentrating when you read, this is a great program for you. Kurzweil, it's like you can either, for example, when I write an essay, I get my paper and I scan it and then I read it back to me and then I can hear my mistakes. So that's what Kurzweil is. It's perfect because I can go as fast as I want and as slow. And as a dictionary, it's even better. I use Kurzweil to learn how to increase my own personal reading speed. And, and, that, and that was something that was huge, huge. I was so grateful. Another thing that's really helpful for students is priority registration. We, our students can get the first priority registration before regular students and we can help you pick your classes either with us or the counselors in Disabled Student Services. What that means is you're guaranteed to get the classes you want, with the teachers you want, at the times you want. We can also help you build a schedule so that you take the courses you need and that you balance out demanding classes with classes that may be a little less challenging for you so you have a schedule that really works for you. We also have some classes that are available and we like to recommend to our students. We have a class on strategies for success for students with learning disabilities and attention deficit disorder. We have the only three unit study skills class available on campus. Um, well, I mentioned you can also be in our lab. We also have a math study skills class which helps students deal with math anxiety. We have a test anxiety lab and like I said we can also recommend a lot of other classes so you're more likely to be successful here at Cabrillo. Call Kathy at 479-6220 to make an appointment to begin the assessment process in either Aptos or Watsonville. You can be assessed at either campus and you can receive services at either campus. What this program brought for me was it brought out it brought out things, capacities in me that I would have never ever imagined that I had. That I Oftentimes, there's a quote by uh, Marianne Williamson that said, we, asks our, we ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant? Who am I to be gorgeous, talented, and fabulous? And I had, I had perceived myself as just, I wasn't planning on going to college. I wasn't going to college. I wasn't smart enough to go to college. And, um, and having the opportunity to, 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 to have services, like people that were patient, enough to give me extended time, to have no takers, to have uh, extra um, learning, you know, like the reading Kurzweil, that show that I, that, I, that I am, you know, brilliant, talented, and fabulous. And I am exceptionally grateful to be applying to Berkeley and, uh, and, ex and ex extremely grateful for this program and that, it, that it's brought out these gems within me.